So, oh, by the way, can I ask another quick question on this? You bet. Um, and you may not have time to address it today, Rick, and if, it, if that's the case, that's fine. You and I can talk about it later or in another video or whatever. But um, <clears throat> if you look at his old site and go to, like, the procedures area, you'll see that the um, – this is regarding the header. You'll see that the header <coughs> is not this same flash presentation on every page. If you click, for example, on breast surgery. Right. This is a fixed. Yeah, he's got kind of a static image up there instead of the flash. Is there a way to, uh, of course, this this old site's not done in WordPress. Is there a way to cause, um, thesis, I don't know if it's a thesis function or a WordPress function or something else entirely, but is there a way to duplicate this perhaps like, um, uh, let me think. I, if I it's have, easy. A, if I it's, have, it's it's easy to do that. And what okay, you would do yeah. is come over and take a look at the customizing thesis like a pro series and do the introduction to customizing thesis PHP. Uh huh. That goes through the process of adding different banner images to the header, different banner images for different pages. So, for example, you know, here's my standard banner. What well, actually, I need to log out because. Hang on a second. If I log out, so I get the non-member side of this thing. If you, you know, click on this button, you get a different image. Then, if you click on this button, which is different, and that button, which is different, and then back to my, uh, then a different button, and then you've got. So you can see each of these images are are different for different pages. Now that's not, and so the thing is that that video shows you how to accomplish that. Um, but the question that I have is, do you have to do that for each page? Like, for example, the, I think there's like six pages or seven pages that will be in that breast section once I'm done. I'd like for the entire breast section to have that one image. Do you have to do that for each individual page, or can you do it for an entire section? You can do it for an entire section rather than asking if it's page X, Y, or Z. Actually, it's probably easiest just to say if it's page X, Y, or Z, and you could just add the numbers in a line, you know, so it's if it's page 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, or 12, show this image. I mean, that's pretty easy, but you can also ask the question, if it's child of 13, then every page that's a child of 13 would get that other, that image. Um, is that so, child code in the video that you're talking about, or is that something you and I would need to discuss? Well, it's, it's called a conditional tag, and the conditional tag is something that is discussed in the video. So if you go to WordPress and conditional tag, that video does take you to this section of the site so that you can see you know, what some of the conditions are, and it addresses the question of if it's page this or this. So, for example, it does this one here, you know, if it's page 42, or if it's page 42 about me and about me and Joe, then do this thing. It doesn't actually show the, uh, the other example, which is if it is, child. if it's a child of, let's see, let's go back up to the top here for a second. Okay, a page page. So if it's a page and then, oh, I lied. That's right. It doesn't have a, a sub page function for, for pages. It has that function for categories. So if it's a child of a given category, then that works for posts. It doesn't work for pages. So rather than using their little workaround here, I would just add, you know, if it's page array 42, 43, 44, 45, then do this. I've actually taken that to an extreme measure in mine. And so on my website, for my, let's see, yeah, WB content, themes, thesis 1.8, custom, and then custom templates, BYOB templates. 
you can see I ask, if is page array, and it's 5770, 120, 148, and it just keeps on going on a long list, right? If it's one of those pages, then apply the lesson page customization to it. And so it, that's um, it's actually probably the easiest way to do that. It's just to have okay. a page ID numbers for um, each of those. And that exercise does go through that process. Okay. Okay. Well, that answers my question. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Hey, you're welcome. I'm happy to help. And we will be doing this again next Monday. This is going to be something that we do every week on, at this point, on Mondays at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If people, I know that there might be the case that folks around the world won't find that those times perfect. And so if there is a better time, then I would love to um, have uh, input from you so that I can pick a time that's convenient for my uh, viewers. And everybody have a great week. Okay, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.